Okay, so in order to solve this question, we have sine x plus cosine x equals m, and we're trying to figure out sine to the power of 4x plus cosine to the power of 4x. So since we are given this expression right here, we want to make sure that we can use this expression and try to figure out how we can use it to our advantage. So right now, sine x plus cosine x, we can't really do anything with that. So however, if we are to square it, if we square both sides, we can get sine x plus cosine x to the power of 2, which equals m squared. Now, if you expand this right here, you will get sine to the power of 2x plus cosine to the power of 2x plus 2 sine x cosine x. Now, sine to the power of 2x plus cosine to the power of 2x is an expression that will always equal 1. Yeah. If you plug in the angles, it will always equal 1. So from that, it will be 1 plus 2 sine x plus cosine x equals m squared. And now we can bring the 1 to this side, and we can bring the 2 to the other side too. So, so this equation, we can simplify it to sine x plus cosine x equals m to the power of 2 minus 1 over 2. Now that we have this expression over here, we can move on to the second expression. So sine to the power of 4x plus cosine to the power of 4x. Now again, we can simplify this by making, by taking, by factoring the power of 2 out, making it sine to the power of 2x plus cosine to the power of 2x to the power of 2. Now again, we now know that sine to the power of 2x plus cosine to the power of 2x will always equal 1. So we get 1 over here to the power of 2. So now we're left with this side of the equation. Now over here, we already know that sine and cosine x will always will equal this expression over here, m to the power of 2 minus 1 over 2. So we just plug that in for sine x and cosine x, and we have to add a power since this expression over here is squared. So we make this expression squared as well, multiplied by 2. So now we can simplify this expression with the 2, and we'll finally end up with 1 minus 1 to the minus m to the power of 2, this expression to the power of 2, and over 2. So, so our final answer 